Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. And boy, do we have a unique, very unique one here for you today. This is a three pill that I built for a uh, great buddy of mine, which is also my apprentice, which is Mr. 409 Mud Duck. He's going to weigh real quick. I don't let him get his face on there too long, y'all. He might break my screen. <laughs> yeah, I talk about myself that way too, so it's all good. So take a look at this. I'll explain what we got going on here. I know y'all know I've been playing around with some metal, all metal capacitor builds here lately. And uh, here's another one. This is a one driving two. 2290 driving two 2879s. They are all non dots. I tell y'all what, if y'all want them non dots, y'all better get them while you can because they ain't going to be here much longer. And I bought them just right before they went up. I only paid $81. Yeah, you got dollars. lucky. He didn't have to pay 65 each for them to, uh, 2879s. He got lucky. But anyway. Yeah. Basically, he got this uh, heat sink customized up there at uh, ICA, the uh, great fellows up there at ICA. And uh, basically what he did is he got the heat sink enlarged for this pr project. So instead of it being a little smaller and having a little o the, the board overhanging more, there's no overhang at all. So these wires that I would normally run up under can't be done but you know it's actually a pretty smart move on his part so he's got more heat sink more heat dissipation and all that good stuff but uh and like i said man this is all metals man every single thing that's got to do with tuning in this thing is metal take a look at the in-between section right here i mean it was kind of rough getting them jokers in there but we got them in there and got this thing fine-tuned for them i'm gonna go ahead and uh move on to the output of it because uh we don't have much time on the recording here and uh, just got your basic preamp and got a side bend delay right here out back. And uh, yeah, little push button. So, all right, let's see what this thing's doing. It's, uh, it's actually uh, performing pretty well. I'm very happy. And it just might be a driver for something bigger. Oh, God, you're going to keep me busy, ain't you? All right, let's see. All right, we're just going to be driving it with the bench radio first. And uh, so we're going to be putting about four RMS drive. I'll show that to you real Turn quick. Yeah, you're right. That's why I need to hear more, man. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, a little bit less. Oh, yeah. So that's a little bit under four, bird. So we're going to put about three, three and a half watts into it. RMS, which is about 1820. BEP. Alrighty, we're on the thousand watt slug as usual. Okay, variable is all the way up as well. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's right there about 180, 190. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Let you take it the input tune. We gotta hurry up. We're about to run out of time. Let's take a look at the input real quick. Oh yeah. Perfect input tune. Alright, we're gonna switch over to the hot. Appreciate it, man. Like I said, man, you need to get here more often while I'm doing these videos. <laughs> well, I do work a regular nine to five, and I do yeah, need I know you do, big brother. Uh we're gonna turn that off. Hang this cat picker up so it won't fall on the ground like I always like doing. You want to key it for me, man? No, thank you. It's, it's all right, all right. Your build. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. That's hitting about 240, 250. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> My voice is messing up. Key it one time for me, man. Oh, yeah. Getting on down. Oh, yeah. All righty. Let's go ahead and flip it over to PP really quick like. We're about to run out of this. Oh, yeah. All righty, that's 500 watts, about dead nuts on, as one of my buddies out there says. 
So that's right there within the specs good. We got it on that, uh, uh, it's about a 70 amp switcher. And uh, if we threw it up on this 100 right here, uh, she'd, she'd be up about probably about 600 watts, probably cruising about 260 RMS. But uh, she's working good, man. It's the first time she's been keyed, man. You get it broken in pretty good there. And uh, shoot, man, you'd probably be cruising about 250 RMS with how he's going to be driving it. So this uh, is it. I don't know. I got me a Stickman Modified 2950. It's going to rape the bottom end out of it. Uh, watch your mouth, big brother. We good and go.